The fog was rolling into the bay. I looked into her brown eyes. I want to live life without illusions, I told her. Without hope, there's heartbreak, she said. All my friends are getting divorced, I said. Those are wise women, she said. What are you feeling, I asked. Her mouth moved, but I just heard seagulls mocking me. The lighthouse on Alcatraz Island winked. After she left me, I started sleeping on the couch in my living room, leaving the television on. She had told me that she was going to teach art history at Stanford. But, I heard that instead, she was in a short-lived punk band called the Store Pigeons. They had one big hit in Japan. Every so often, the phone rings and the number reads restricted or unknown. I never answer to maintain the illusion that it's her calling. She hasn't left a message yet. Her art books are still in a plastic container in my closet. I've held off on selling her oversized monograph on Pinterichio by Rixie and her collection of first edition Eriki. Her Aunt Jed's photo books are also tucked away, baby's pending birth. Since she left, I've gone back to eating ravioli out of a can. I left her photo up in my kitchen. But, I put it behind the cereal boxes. I wonder, if someday she'll knock on my door. I imagine, that I'd casually ask her, how is it going? I saw on Amazon, that the Pinterichio monograph she left with me sells for upward of $700. I haven't sold her books yet. Her smile is still worth more.